I'm going to show you how to write a resume from scratch with AI and Microsoft Word with Copilot. I'll show you how to choose the right template, what to write, and how Copilot can help you with resume wording. Let's take a look. The first thing we want to do is select the ideal resume template. And there are several places we can go to find free resume templates from Microsoft Word. One of the best places is just type create.microsoft.com up here in your browser window. I'll show you a few other places later in the video. But here you can find under trending searches, you usually find resumes. Also down here under productivity, you can click on resumes. Here you can filter by color. So if we click on the color palette and then click on white, we know that's going to filter and give us white background resumes, which are professional style resumes. So a quick tip when picking a resume template is to go with a clean single column layout that reads from the left to the right. It helps recruiters and applicant tracking systems quickly find your name and qualification summary up at the top, and it shows and displays your job titles and bullet points starting on the left-hand side. We want to avoid the fancy templates that might have extra design or more columns. A lot of times those look nice, but they can actually hide your information when you upload or scan them in when you apply for a job online. Once you've picked a resume that you want to use, go ahead and click on it. And you can either download it. If you have Microsoft 365, it'll download and open right up in the desktop app version of Word. If you don't have the desktop app version of Word, you can click here and customize in Word on the web for free. I'm going to go ahead and click on download and open it up in my desktop app version. Once we have it downloaded, we can click on Enable Editing. Now let's go through each of the different resume template sections. Up here at the top, we want to replace our name, but we want to keep the same font style, size, and everything else. So I'm going to double click to select it, and then I'm going to type my name. And then same thing with the last name, I'm going to double click that and type my last name. Now that should retain the font and formatting that you want. If you find that it doesn't, a lot of times you can just select the last few or leave your cursor after one of the first letters within that text and type there and that will retain the formatting for you. Over here you want your contacts. You really only need to have your phone number and email address. So you don't need a street address or anything else usually. Um, if you want to you can delete that from the template but you want to hit enter and reformat it. If you want to have your email be a hyperlink place your cursor after it, and then hit enter. That's always good because then if someone has your resume open electronically and they want to contact you, they can click right on it. Now, a lot of resume templates that you might download say objective up here at the top. So we don't want to have an objective. We'd rather this be a qualification summary or professional summary. So I'm going to double click and type professional summary. Now up here, this is going to be our three to four sentence elevator pitch. It's at the top of the resume. It's going to highlight who you are, what you offer, and why you're a great fit. And the formula that we're going to use to write this is you're going to include the title or role that you want to represent, plus your top skills and strengths, plus your years of experience or relevant background, plus your key achievements or focus area, plus your career goal or the value that you bring. So putting all those things together, you're going to write your own professional summary or qualification summary up here at the top. Now, once you've written your professional summary in your own words first, then we can use Copilot to refine it and make it more professional and possibly grammatically correct. So what we're going to do then is select what you wrote for your professional summary and then come over here on the Copilot icon. We have different options. I'm going to click on Auto Rewrite. The Auto Rewrite functionality is going to review that summary and then give us some different options. It gives us three different options that we can look through. So you can read each of these and toggle to the next one and pick the one that you like the best. And this is going to allow you to either replace your text or insert it below if you're not ready to fully replace what you originally wrote. I'm going to go ahead and select the second one and click on replace and Copilot will automatically replace your selected text with the new generated one that you selected. I'm going to go ahead and just update this to correct the spelling. And I'm going to go ahead and fix the white space here and hit delete. Once you're done with your professional summary, the next section that you should include on your resume is your work experience. This is because recruiters are looking to see what your job title has been, where you've worked, and how long you've held those positions. So on your template, you'll want to go ahead and replace the job title with your job titles and work experience. 
Now, if your resume template is like this one, and it's just including the year for your dates of service of how long you worked somewhere, I recommend replacing that with the month and the year. And that's because a lot of organizations may give you credit for the time that you held a position when they formulate an offer for you. It's also a good reference when you are applying online, you often have to include the month and year. And then this way you have it tracked on your resume so you can always refer back to it. So let's say we worked here from 12, 2024 uh, to the present. You can type present. Next, we want to include our job description bullets. So notice this template doesn't use bullets, but we do want to use bullets. So I'm going to come up here on the home tab and just make these bullet points. Now, when it comes to writing job experience bullet points on your resume, you should use a certain formula that includes an action verb plus what you did, plus how and why you did it, and then the result or impact and quantifiable if possible. So for example, uh, we can use this as our first bullet point. Coordinated meeting schedules for a small office team using Outlook, helping reduce scheduling conflicts and improving team productivity. Let me just write out some more bullets and then we'll use Copilot to help us refine this. Now, once you've written your bullet points, there is another feature in Copilot that you can use. We can select those bullets click on your co-pilot icon. And here we can say make shorter. If we feel like our bullet points might be a little too wordy or add too much writing onto our resume, we want to keep it concise and easily scannable. We can use this make shorter feature. Copilot will give us some different options. Again, we have different options that we can toggle through and select which one we want to use. We can click on replace and it'll replace that text up there. Now the next section of your resume after you include all your work experience is going to be your education. So if you have a degree, you'll want to include that here and you'll include your college or university. And it's optional whether you want to put the dates that you attended or the date that you graduated. Oftentimes I advise folks to not include that on the resume. Sometimes your resume is shared with hiring managers or other interview team members who don't necessarily need to know the time frame that you went to college. You maybe ask that on a job application because they may need to verify that for the background check, but it's okay to leave it off of your resume. One thing I do recommend to include under the education section is if you have any special certifications. So maybe you obtained a Microsoft Office certification while you were in college, you can add that here. Now, if your template has, in this case, two different placeholders for the education. If that doesn't apply to you, you can simply delete that. Next, I do recommend keeping a skills section in your resume, and I recommend highlighting your technical skills. So in this case, let's go ahead and select this section. We're going to click on Copilot, and here we're going to put in a prompt. I'm going to ask Copilot to suggest what technical skills I should include on my resume because I'm applying for an administrative assistant job in a technical growth company. And I'm just going to click on the generate button. Now Copilot has entered a different section here. Of course, it's not in line with the formatting of our resume, but it does list out different technical skills that we may or may not have that we might want to use and include in this section. So I'm going to go ahead and say keep it. And then we can pick and choose if we happen to have some of these technical skills, then we can include this up here in our skills section. So for example, we might want to include Microsoft Office Suite. We can come up here and type that in. There's also database management, document management systems, and so forth. If you have any specific software technology that you want to list, this is a good place to list all of those. Now, once we're done, we don't need to keep that generated section in the resume. We do want to go ahead and delete that out. Now, this resume happens to have an extra section for activities. You can delete that out. I think a good basic resume to keep onto one page will have your professional summary, your work experience, and your educational background, along with all of your technical skills. Your soft skills you can include and pepper in up here in your professional summary. Now, once you're done finishing your resume, you're going to want to go ahead and click on File and Save It. You can save it as a Word document or a PDF. These are the best two file types that you can use when you want to upload your resume and apply for a job. Now there's a couple other places that you can go to find good free resume templates. One is right here within Microsoft Word. If you go up to File 
and then come over here and click on more templates and then come down here and click on resumes and cover letters. So if you're right here in Microsoft Word, you can scroll through these templates and select the one you want. It'll open right up and you can start editing. And then one other great place to go online, I'll include a link in the description below, is Microsoft Word's Online Resume Builder. This is a great site. If you're a job seeker, there's a lot more than just templates out here. There's a lot of great resources. But you can also filter your templates by job title. Be sure and check out my other videos. I'll show you how to tailor your resume for a specific job and also to how to take an existing resume and improve it using Copilot. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up and like it. You can subscribe to my channel and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.